The Angels were another expansion team, but was the best one despite not having a win percentage over 440. They jumped around from stadium to stadium until April 9th of 1966 when they settled at Anaheim Stadium. Fast forward to the 1980s, the Angels had a lot of ups and downs. They made it to the ALCS three times from 79 to 86. Unfortunately, they lost those series and were out of contention until 2002 when they won the World Series in seven games against the San Francisco Giants. Since then, they've made it to the postseason six times but have come up empty-handed. They have some household names from the past, like Torrey Hunter, Jim Edmonds, Nolan Ryan, Jared Weaver, Rod Carew, and many more. The franchise currently has more in the making, and currently, the team is preparing for a postseason run with a flurry of additions this offseason. They've extended Mike Trout and do not want the remainder of his tenure with the Angels to be capped off without a World Series championship ring. So to start us off, we know that the Angels are a team that has struggled to make the postseason in recent years and well, they're really gunning for it this year. They've made additions that are hopefully going to help the team get there and it seems like they've made solid additions. Signing Anthony Rendon to the contract that they did is really going to help them to keep a core of players. They extended Mike Trout, so you have Rendon, you have Trout, you have Otani, you have that core of players and now you're just building around them to create a team that can hopefully bring fans and even the team to a postseason. So it'll be really cool to see. But let's hop in talking about the third baseman for the Angels, newly signed Anthony Rendon. So in 2019, Anthony Rendon was nominated as an All-Star and he also got nominated for the Silver Slugger Award because of his monster offensive performance. He hit 44 doubles in 2018 and 2019 and was first in doubles for both years. Rendon has good defense and he showed that in the postseason last year and he has monster offense like a lot of people talk about. But the real question is, can Anthony Rendon have another season like he did in 2019? Rendon is a spectacular player. Uh, the reason that he got signed to the contract he did was because he's shown consistency on his offense and defense. Rendon's offensive performance, his numbers are nothing to sneeze at. He is a tremendous player offensively and really shines over his solid defense. And it's crazy to say because Rendon, he plays solid defense, yet his offense takes the precedence over that because it's just so good. Overall, Anthony Rendon is a tremendous player and is going to continue to be that tremendous player for the Angels. And hopefully he's not one of those offensive performers that's going to end up uh, dying out at around 34, 35 years old. Hopefully he can keep a solid offensive performance uh, into his late 30s, early 40s. That would be really awesome to see. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to play until he's over 40, but um, I think he's definitely a guy that can put up some solid numbers uh, up until the day he retires because he always keeps his composure. He is calm when he goes up to bat and he knows the way that he hits the ball. He doesn't play above his means. He's a player that is confident, but doesn't exactly show arrogance. So that's definitely a good sign. I think Rendon is one of those pieces that can definitely help the team, whether it's in the clubhouse with his chill nature or whether it's on the field and the way that he performs. So Anthony Rendon was definitely a good addition by the Los Angeles Angels. Moving on, we're going to talk about a starting pitcher that was acquired through a trade with the Baltimore Orioles in Dylan Bundy. So to get started with Dylan Bundy, he had a down 2019. Uh, he's had down years before, but this one, another down year, unfortunately, for Dylan Bundy. But on the flip side, in 2020, his spring training up until the coronavirus hit, of course, was impressive. He impressed the Angels. He showed that he was able to command the strike zone, able to get strikeouts. He has good stuff, and that was able to be seen in spring training. So that's a really good sign. And uh, maybe Dylan Bundy hopefully turn the page. But moving on, uh, Dylan Bundy, where he sits in the rotation, he's probably going to be the potential number three starter in that rotation unless he continues on his amazing stretch with pitching and maybe he even works his way into the conversation for being a number two starter and that would be really cool to see. Of course that also depends on whether Julio Tehran performs 
at a solid level this season. The question to be asked about Dylan Bundy is, well, whether he can carry his spring training success into the regular season. And uh, so basically, I think he'll be able to. Uh, he seems like he's really figured it out and hopefully he can take that into the regular season. But I have much faith in Dylan Bundy becoming the pitcher that the Angels expect him to now be. And maybe the reason that he's doing so well is because the Angels saw something in him and that's why they acquired him. And maybe they really worked on what they needed to work on with him to get him to where he needed to be. So uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how that rotation shapes up uh, moving forward. But it's uh, it's a really good thing to see Dylan Bundy come from a team where he struggled to come to a team and, well, just tear it up on the mound. So uh, really awesome to see. The Angels seem like they made a really good pickup in Dylan Bundy, and hopefully he continues to pay dividends for them for the upcoming seasons. Now we are going to move on to a player that had an amazing first half of 2019, but was played with injuries and didn't really play too much in the second half. Uh, he's more of a utility guy, but uh, was nominated as an all-star. It sucks that he wasn't able to play. Uh, his name is Tommy La Stella. As I mentioned, Tommy La Stella was nominated as an all-star and had an amazing first half of 2019. But of course, he ended up getting injured and specifically it was a right to be a fracture which sidelined him for the second half and while well, Tommy Lastella is in the middle part of his career he's 31 years old but uh, can he have a similar year to his 2019 season and I think that he can have a similar year uh, he's shown his breakout year and hopefully that's somewhere where he can stay uh, it seems like more of a ceiling but if he can come back and hopefully hit 250 260 uh, have 15 to 20 home runs. Uh, that'll be a solid player, especially since he could play anywhere on the infield uh, pretty much. He's kind of like a he's a second or a third baseman usually, but uh, I, I figure he could slot in just about anywhere on that infield. And Tommy Lestelle looks like a guy that can really contribute uh, as an impact player for the Angels. Now let's move on to a two-way superstar for the Angels, a guy that can throw a nasty splitter, throw a really hard fastball, and hit dingers. It is Shohei Otani. So to start off, Shohei Otani finally looks completely healthy and ready to pitch in 2020. He's the first two-way player since Babe Ruth, and being healthy in 2020 means he'll be able to contribute uh, even more so to the Angels, especially with, um, with his pitching, since he's been able to provide offensively. But uh, his fastball can range anywhere from 95 to 100 miles per hour. Shohei Otani has that velocity, and he has a pretty good build. He's uh, pretty tall, so you know Shohei is capable of swinging the ball up there with high velocity. The question for Shohei Otani is, can he successfully pitch and hit in 2020 or 2021? And by that I mean, of course, being a two-way player, and I think he can successfully do that. He has the talent. Uh, he's shown that he could pitch in the past. Of course, uh, he wasn't able to pitch uh, healthy for too long, but uh, he can do that. I think he can hit. He did it over in Japan, and I think he'll be able to do it here. He's shown that he's legit, that he's able to hit Major League pitching, that he's able to pitch to Major League hitters and get out successfully. And moreover, he has amazing stuff and strikeout stuff at that. So Shohei Otani will thrive as a pitcher, a hitter, wherever you throw him out as. Um, he's just that type of player that is going to be a two-way player for the Angels, and hopefully he can break some records. Uh, it'll be really fun to watch as Shohei Otani continues to tear up the league and surprise uh, players and fans and many others throughout the sport with his amazing talent. Conclusively, the Angels are a team that I'm kind of excited to watch. Uh, they're a team that doesn't exactly have the most talent in their farm system. I know they have Joe Adele down there. That's going to come up and hopefully tear it up. Uh, people have compared him to Mike Trout. Uh, not sure that's going to happen. Mike Trout's a really rare talent. Uh, guys like Shohei Otani, another rare talent. But we'll see what Joe Adele can develop into. Uh, hopefully a player that can provide much production in the lineup and hopefully play a really solid uh, defender in the field. I heard that he has a lot of speed in the outfield, so he's going to be a great player for the Angels in being able to cover ground or possibly hit and defend just anything you need him to do. So hopefully that comes to fruition. The Angels look good. 
Uh, they're just tightening up things around the edges, I guess you could call it. And uh, yeah, hopefully they can really compete. I mean, they're in a respectably tough division with the Angels and the Astros. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, the Astros, you don't know how they're going to do because of everything that happened over the past offseason. But the A's look really, really good. And uh, yeah, they might need another pitcher or two, but they're not really far off. They're a team that gets around 95 wins every year, so uh, they're only going to get better. And well, I'm not sure if the Angels have the longevity. It's not going to be a long window of contention, but it's definitely going to be one where they can hopefully win a World Series. I think that they have that type of talent on the team, and whether they go out and they get guys in free agency or trade for guys, uh, they'll make it work and hopefully they're able to take themselves far into the playoffs. Angels, I'm rooting for you, and hopefully the fans are as well right now in this time of no baseball. But uh, hopefully things get going again soon. Everyone, I would like to thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. I really do appreciate your time being spent on this genuine baseball content that I put out there. Uh, if you want to, please like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out and keeps me doing these videos and hopefully I can do these videos for a pretty long time. I'm going to do all 30 teams and uh, if you have a team that you want to see next make sure to drop a comment in the comment section of course or follow me on Instagram and message me on there. Uh, I go on there as well. I will leave a link in the description below if you would like to. But anyway, thanks again for watching. This has been Major League Talk with your Los Angeles Angels. Lockton gets the ball down, he can pull it. That's his long ball, down and in. Driving into right center field, first down, Sensi.